Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I'm here today for a very quick uh, video because I had a request by a lady named Lynn Ray Robinson who asks, what do I do with the back of my tiles? Well, I know that in my resining tiles, which was video number 64, I covered the entire process of how I resin the tiles, but I don't talk about what I do to prepare them ahead of time, and I didn't talk about what I do after the fact. So that's what I'm here to do today, to show you really quick what I do, and uh, let's get to it. All right, okay, so I'm back. So some of the things you're gonna need are uh, cork. I'll link the cork that I get in the description below. You need scissors to cut the tape. You need the frog tape, which I recommend highly because this stuff peels off nice and clean. You need some sandpaper, 220 grit is what I recommend. Um, when you're all done and you're done corking and everything, I have a little stamp that I got and um, so you'll need that. You don't need it, but it's nice to have your name on it. And then I use uh, for the backs um, some old notepads that I had from my real estate time that I cut to size like this to fit in the back so I don't have to tape over the whole thing. And I think that's it. So in video 64, I covered pretty thoroughly how I resin my tiles, but I never did really cover how I prepare the tiles for resining and then what I do afterward to prepare them for sale or use. So basically I cut the paper down to size and then I take my frog tape and I tape it to the size of the tile right up to the edge for example so like so it looks like this and then I resin and you can see that like I said in video 64 shows how I do the resining and then at about 12 hours after resining so it's not fully cured yet I uh, start to peel the tape off because then it doesn't set very long um, now, if you might remember these tiles, these are my Seasons tiles. Do not use cheap resin because I use cheaper resin, not the KS like I've been using for the tiles. And um, it didn't cover very, didn't cover well, and it didn't get to the edges and left some pock marks in some of these. I think this one was really bad. I'm so sad by this. So I went to sand it down to prepare it for a recoat and uh, when I sanded it, I ruined the tiles. I went too far. The resin didn't hold up like the KS does when you sand an imperfection. So I ruined them all. So that's why they're like this right now. So then when you're done resining, once you've had a successful resin, I take the tape and peel it off. And I even was getting so good at this whole process that I was even recycling my, even recycling this tape. So then you're left with this. And now you can choose to, um, you can choose to paint the backs of your tiles. If you care about your nails, this is not the way to do it. You can choose to paint the backs of your tiles. I don't bother. But what I do do before I put the uh, coaster uh, backing on the cork, I do sand with the 20, 220 grit paper to get off any sharp spots. And invariably, it's almost no no time do I have a tile that's perfect. So I always have to sand some somewhat. So once I get done with that, and then I get my coaster uh, cork, and what I do is I stamp it with my little stamper, and then I peel the back, and you can just imagine me doing that, and then I put it on the back of the tile. So I, after I put the cork on, I lay it down nice and firmly. And then with my stamp on it, this is what it looks like on the back. And this is the front. You never saw this tile before because I never did post a video of it. So here's my whole collection of tiles over here that I've done recently. So yeah, these will look familiar. These are all ready to go and they're gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I tell you, I love the resin. Um, also, I made these tiles especially for the bride. Now these are round tiles. They use a lot less paint, let me tell you that. But once again, I corked the back and I had a little special uh, stamper I bought for there. 
occasion, call and they, it's a CNS 5722 for the wedding. And the tiles I got off Amazon, of course, and this is the tile that I got. I will link this below as well. So I think I've covered everything. If anybody has any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll answer. But I have to say thank you to Lynn Ray Robinson for asking me the question. And All right, I hope that was helpful to everybody. Um, I'm gonna be out of the picture for a little bit, but I do have videos in the can. So I will be posting videos during the week and I cannot wait to get back and start painting again. This is like, this was actually a little bit upsetting. Um, taking down my art studio because I gotta put it back together again. But hey, it's all gonna be for a good reason because Saturday is gonna be quite exciting around here. So thank you for tuning in and um, take care and we'll see you next time. All right, bye everybody.